Hi everybody, it's Steph Mishuk from KillerSites.com and other sites. So, in this quick little vlog, I want to talk about WordPress's new capability since version 3.7, its new capability to update itself automatically. This is an important um, if, you know, uh, development, if you will, in WordPress because it really, I think it will really help cut down the number of times WordPress sites are hacked. So I first found out about it by getting this email here, which uh, WordPress automatically sent to me. It said, hey, yeah, we've updated WordPress automatically. I said, wow, I didn't even know about this capability. So the new update has new uh, dashboard uh, enhancements. You know, now WordPress, the WordPress dashboard is the WordPress um, control panel, if you will. The dashboard, as you can see here, now is supported by, uh, now, now can support uh, mobile devices, all this kind of stuff. That's cool. But again, the most important thing about this uh, this development where it can auto-update is that, is that, you know, it's it's kind of like, it's kind of like your personal backups at home. I, I, you know, Time Machine on Apple, for instance, you can get this on Windows as well, where you set it, it updates, it's, uh, it, it continuously backs up your computers every hour on its own without telling you about you having to do anything. And that's the only way that updates and backups really, uh, especially backups rather, really work because you always lose files. If you don't have auto backup, you always lose files uh, before you had a chance to back them up. It's happened to me many times. So the auto backup is crucial. So if you're working uh, with your computer professionally, whether you're a web designer, programmer, or whatever, I strongly suggest that you get an automatic backup system that does it on its own timer, at least you know once every two hours, once an hour, and they're sophisticated, and uh, so you don't have to worry about backing up your systems anymore. You know, And WordPress 3.7 and above, does a similar thing with the update of its of itself, and uh, that's crucial because the more WordPress is updated, the less chance your WordPress is going to get hacked, which is one of the downsides of using WordPress because it's so popular, and the code base is traditionally and hasn't been the best. I don't know; I haven't looked at it in a while, so I can't say for today. I'm sure it's getting better, and if it's not if it's not really good yet. But anyway, the fact that it can update itself. And for instance, this update, 3.8.1, uh, was there to address 31 bugs. So that's that's worth doing. And a lot of these bugs can be security holes that people discover. So auto-update is fantastic. Now, for auto-update to work, you have to have your uh, web server set up in a particular way. Two things. First of all, the files, your WordPress files, have to be owned by the same user, server user, that executes the web server. Now, this is a little complex. Uh, I'm not going to get into the details here. So you want to know about it, just go to codex.wordpress.org slash updating underscore WordPress, and you can get this information. This is something that your host and provider has to set up. And, and a lot of them, a lot of you guys will probably have it set up anyway automatically, so you should be fine. And the other thing that you need is that the file permissions for your WordPress files have to be set correctly, and the file permissions have to be 755 or 644. Again, you can read this, get the details, and if it's not done, uh, if it doesn't work, this the automatic update doesn't work, or then what you got to do is uh, bug your web host to uh, set up the files accordingly so that this happens. It's such an important feature. Uh, yeah, so what's the next thing I want to cover? So yeah, okay. So setting your files to have the right permissions, the uh, the 755, the 644, as I'm showing here. How do you do that? Well, if you log in, for instance, you're in, you're in a, a C panel here, and this is the C panel for that particular site, the How to Build Websites.com website, which is one of my beginner sites on web design. Anyhow, so what you want to do is you want to go into the File Manager under Files tab here. You click on it. And you want to go into the um, if if your WordPress is on the web root as mine is. This whole site is actually driven by WordPress. Everything is is WordPress. So the public HTML is where all your web files reside. And you notice 
the, the uh, permission is set to 750. So that's pretty good. Now, if you need to reset the permission, you right click and you change, select change permissions. And there you go. This is 7, uh, 750. So I know this is a very simple, superficial overview of WordPress and uh, its new uh, capability. Yes, you may not be using a cPanel uh, hosted service like we use. You may be using something called Plesk. You may be on IIS. I don't know. Anyhow, what you want to take away from this is A, 3.7 WordPress does update automatically. B, this is very good because it, help, it will help prevent hacking of your WordPress site. And finally, you need to set your file permissions properly, 7.5.0, as it, well as it's on the WordPress codec site here. Let me get the URL into view. And uh, yeah, you need to set it to uh, 7.5.5 or 644. It depends on uh, the particular uh, circumstances of your server. So basically, if, if your update is an auto update is not working, you have to bug your, uh, your web holes and they can help you out with that. And uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you found this useful.